Hello, uh, this is uh, Rajiv Dutta from uh, India. I'm an open uh, enthusiast uh, worker. I work for uh, volunteer for uh, Wikipedia and for Swiss Commons as well. Uh, today, my uh, project is more about Hello Santali. Uh, as you know, Santali is a is a language uh, often uh, pronounced as Santali as well. Uh, it's the most widely spoken language uh, in the Austroasiatic uh, languages, uh, mostly uh, found in the eastern part of India, covering around seven to eight states. And it has been uh, recognized as an official language uh, for India as well. And it's been spoken in India, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal, with around 7.6 million uh, population. But uh, the reason why I uh, went ahead to do this uh, project is uh, we are missing out uh, the online uh, audio of the different words spoken in those languages. So uh, we started off with a project uh, with that, where we started speaking with uh, local people, uh, though the project is still on, and we started working on creating citations, bibliographic data for the spoken words, which are mostly commonly used because as generations getting uh, changed, uh, a lot of words have been uh, already been extinguished. They're not uh, available. You can't get any reference about it. So uh, we felt that it's the right time to start. Uh, then we found out that uh, let's start with 200 most common spoken words. And now we already covered more than 100 as of now recorded uh, with the help of the local people from the central community in Orissa, in Assam, and in West Bengal in India. We're working on a database that will be publicly domain and free license for media contents. Anybody, anywhere can use it for any purpose. And while doing it, uh, what we found out is that uh, we need to create references and also translations because if we uh, put them on uh, Wikimedia Commons, because we're doing it for the Wikimedia project called uh, Wikisite, uh, we need to cite the references. So we worked on references, translations, pseudonyms of the words, the right exact pronunciation with the right exact spellings. Uh, Rajiv, because they have been... Rajiv, yeah. just a quick question. Did you want me to be moving through your slides? Are you still on your first slide? Uh, yes, please move on to the next slide. Okay, no. I'm now on, yes, now I'm now on slide see. number two. Uh, move to uh, number three. Okay, I'm on number three. When you'd like me to change slides, if you could just verbally tell me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So as I, as I was saying, we're working on the 200 most common uh, spoken words, uh, which are generally been speaking by the community. Uh, as we're uh, working for the Wikimedia projects, uh, we are working on the translations. We working on the several aspects of, of the words, like uh, creating references, citations, synonyms, and more about creating images if possible for different words so that it's easily understandable by the other community or other speaking people. And uh, the next slide. As I said before, uh, the database is a public uh, open database, free license under CC by Zero, uh, C0 we are uh, doing it for, for media contents. We'll be working on the audio part as of now. We are looking to create more words uh, at the next half of the project, later on as well. Slide. So uh, I haven't finished, So, but wait, uh, there's more. Next slide. Now, as I said before, again, uh, it's more about references, translations, pseudonyms, cite uh, links, because we have got some uh, valuable uh, dictionary, which is available. We are also putting it to online as well, so so that we can get the right meaning of the words we're going to use uh, with other references as well. Slide. If anyone interested to contact me for this project, you can be in touch with my Telegram uh, user ID, uh, even my email ID as well for 
any inputs you want to collaborate for any uh, project just let me know and thank you for listening to me all right thank you very much uh the floor is open for questions. Nate says we've got lots of time. Uh, we have just about three minutes for Q and A. Uh, well, Jack, I, first question. I, I actually have a question for you. I'm wondering, do you know of instances where other projects have already used this open source database um, in other contexts? You might have mentioned one, but I was busy watching the clock, and so I, I might have missed it. Uh. Can I have your question once again? Yeah, like, do you, do you know of examples where other projects have used the open source database you're talking about to do something? Like, are, have other projects tapped into the data and used it for other purposes? Uh, for this particular project? Yeah. Do you know of any, uh, any usage? Uh, not actually. Basically, we're working on this project so that it can be helpful for other uh, Wikimedia projects like Wiktionary, uh, for Wikidata, we also uh, doing work for Wikidata to get these words connected in and keep it in one in one place. So we are also working for Wikimedia Commons as well for the pictures and to have the category registered with all the audios because the audios will be uploaded on Wikimedia Commons. We are already working on that. Hopefully, I answer your question. You did. Thank you. you. Rajiv, I, I see there's a question in the chat from Manisha. Yes, uh, yes, I, I see the first question. Is it hosted on Wiki? Yes, it's already hosted on Wiki. We are working on finishing the other 200 words. It will be soon live by the end of this month or by the first week of January. And the second question is, which content management system is being used for the Sunday language? Uh, are you asking for the software that we use for the recordings or Basically, we are using uh, Wikimedia Commons platform, uh, Wikidata, and Wiktionary as well. Hopefully, I've answered, Manisha. I, I have a question for you. Uh, is yeah, you're starting with these hundreds of words? I'm wondering if you will be moving into uh, additional educational resources uh, to provide uh, to provide uh, curriculum, for example, in uh, in Santilli, is that is that a, the next step, or are you? Uh, is there a certain number of words? Like, if you if you had unlimited resources and unlimited time, what would your goals be with this project? Yeah, definitely, definitely. As as I said, it's uh, we started with two hundred words to be very specific, and then we're moving on with because this kind of words, though there are a lot of uh, educational stuff, but it's not to the higher level because, as you know, uh, English is the, the medium of, of education in India. Uh, though we're working, uh, definitely we're going to work for the educational purpose as well because though these are the words which we try to preserve this language. That is the main motive of doing this project. But definitely that is also uh, will be in our uh, category as well. Yes, we're going to move on for the education part as well. Thank, Thank you. you, Gabo. We have time for one last question. Anybody have one? Ah, I see one question for you in chat. Yeah, yeah please. I can't see any questions. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll read, I'll read it for you. Okay. Uh, are, are frequently used words specific to a language? So are, are the frequently used words specific to a language that, that you're translating? Uh, or uh, they can be used for translation to any language. I'm thinking of having a list of 100 frequently used words for Cree. OK. Uh, not actually. Basically, we are working on uh, words which are, uh, for example, if I say the words uh, home, what will be the, the Santali translation of the word home? And we're also working for the spellings, for the right spellings. We're working on uh, several other words which are uh, not getting used nowadays because in place there are other languages words used in the community nowadays. 
So we're trying to preserve the original uh, words that most commonly used by the community uh, since uh, maybe, uh, more than uh, 500 years ago.